How many times have we heard that an upcoming young prospect is the best since LeBron James? We've heard it said time and time again to describe players such as Andrew Wiggins, Anthony Davis, and Zion Williamson. And while the jury's still out on Zion, it's safe to say that Wiggins and Davis weren't able to live up to LeBron's career. But that shouldn't be a knock on them, however. They are still very good players and have both significantly impacted their teams on their way to winning a championship. However, the generational or best since LeBron tag is reckless. LeBron is a once in a generation type of player, someone who has a rock solid case of being the greatest basketball player of all time. Labeling young prospects and immediately comparing them to LeBron before they even play their first game in the NBA invites all sorts of pressure and negative comparisons. For example, before Wiggins won a championship with the Golden State Warriors, he was labeled a bust, even though he put up serviceable numbers during his time with the Minnesota Timberwolves and even won Rookie of the Year honors. Just because he couldn't live up to the hype of being compared to a generational talent. Because, let's face it, 9 times out of 10, these players will never live up to the hype. But we can hope, and in the upcoming 2023 NBA Draft, there is a player who has the potential to finally make the hyperbole of being the best since LeBron a reality. A player who, according to Kevin O'Connor of The Ringer, a league executive called not just a franchise-altering talent, he's a league-altering talent. Enter the one. Meet Victor Wembanyama. Before we talk about Victor, please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel if you want more player discussions such as this one. With that out of the way, on to the video. Hailing from France, Wembanyama, or Wemby as he's affectionately called, is a 7'4 behemoth with an 8'0 wingspan. He has shades of Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Rudy Gobert, and dare I say, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in his game. His massive wingspan allows him to essentially block, or at the very least alter, any shots around the rim, but he's also got the quickness to block shots from the perimeter. With those defensive tools, he can be just decent on offense and still be a top prospect. But nope, he's pretty good at that too. His jumper is money, and he has shown that he can score from virtually anywhere through a variety of methods, whether it be catch and shoots, creating separation from the defender, in isolation, and through post-ups. Oh, and how about a fadeaway corner 3 while in transition just for good measure? In case you hadn't noticed, all the clips here are from the same game. Barring any surprises, he is certainly going to be called first in the 2023 NBA Draft. In that same game, Wemby's team, Metropolitans 92 from Paris, faced the G League Ignite, led by Scoot Henderson, the consensus number 2 pick in the upcoming draft. He's an insanely good player as well. At 6'3", he is lightning fast and plays like Ja Morant with a smoother jump shot. He actually got the better of Wembanyama a couple of times during the game, as seen here when he slithers past the defense and reverses a layup over the towering Frenchman. But it is apparent that Wemby's physical attributes, coupled with his raw skill, makes him the more salivating option. When watching tape of Wembanyama, it is fascinating to see defenses try to take him out of the equation. He seems to be unguardable. The heights he can reach with that 7'4 frame when he rises and then shoots is impossible to guard due to the simple fact that defenders just can't reach that high enough to even bother him. That should come as no surprise, however, once you know that he spent time with Holger Geschwindner, Dirk Nowitzki's famed shooting coach, who was convinced that Wemby would change basketball like his sweet shooting 7-foot German from Dallas. This kid has the potential to change basketball again, Geschwindner said. During his two-game trip in the US, Wemby finished with 73 points, 22 for 44 shooting from the field with 9 three-pointers, 15 rebounds, and 9 blocks. When it comes to his talent and skill set on both ends of the floor, there doesn't seem to be any legitimate knocks against his game, apart from durability, which is common for a person his size. One could argue that Wembanyama should try to bulk up and gain some muscle, but Geshwinder doesn't believe that the 18-year-old phenom should even go near the weight room.
I told him right when he left, don't get anywhere near the weight room, Geschwindner said. If they try to make a strong guy out of you, you will be finished before you are 25. He continued, everybody is surprised that a tall guy can move like this, but he can only move like this because he's not heavy. That's what people misunderstand. Players of his kind often only come with the physical prowess, but without the mental. However, with Victor, that doesn't seem to be the case. O'Connor's player profile on Wembenyama described him as having a maturity to the way he thinks and approaches both basketball and life. In this era of social media, everything gets magnified, his fellow Frenchman Gobert said. And you know, those young kids, it's a lot of added pressure on them. I think what strikes me the most about him is his maturity. The way he composes himself as an 18-year-old is also what attracts a lot of teams to him, with one NBA executive expecting him to be the type of low-maintenance superstar who enhances culture. His mentality shouldn't come as a surprise to many who know his history, as he was raised by athletes who NBA teams view as an incredible support system that will help him adjust to life in the association. His mother is 6'2 and played basketball in her youth. His father is 6'5 and is a former triple jump specialist who reportedly taught him the correct way of running. The hype surrounding Wembanyama's arrival in the NBA is real and overflowing. In fact, it has already gotten to the point where the league is already taking measures to prevent teams from outright losing games for a higher chance of nabbing him. Commissioner Adam Silver has already spoken about how the NBA has put teams on notice regarding tanking to get the chance to draft the French star. The league stars have also reacted to Wemby. Finals MVP Stephen Curry called him a 2K creator player, saying that he's every point guard that wants to be 7-foot cheat code type vibes. He's a solid talent. LeBron James, the guy everyone is comparing Wembenyama to and who watched the exhibition games courtside, also had high praise for the youngster. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like an alien. No one has ever seen anyone as tall as he is but as fluid and as graceful as he is out on the floor, James said. As a young kid with all the potential in the world, it's easy to get lost in everything. When asked about his reaction to LeBron's compliments, Wemby simply said, That's cool, but not more. Because the thing is, I haven't played a game in the NBA yet, so I gotta stay focused and reach my goals. His laser focus and commitment to getting even better is another example of his maturity level, and his love for the game is evident. During the Nevada exhibitions, there were talks of Wembanyama potentially getting shut down ahead of the 2023 draft in order to preserve his health, which are legitimate concerns. After all, he's had a pretty lengthy injury history with a stress fracture in his fibula, a fractured finger, shoulder contusion, and psoas injury. However, Wemby's agent, Buna NJ, will be the first to tell you that shutting him down sounds absurd. NBA people are telling me to shut him down, and we are not going to shut him down, Buna NJ told ESPN on Wednesday. If we came with that kind of talk to Wembanyama, he will look at us and say, what are you talking about? He'll never agree to that. He wants to compete and get better. With Victor, it's basketball first and everything else second. He was so pissed off that he lost. And what do you think? Do you think Victor Wembanyama is the next big thing? Can he surpass some of the greats and take the league by storm? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please make sure to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.